Okay, so we're going to record this too, and this time I have sound on, so I'll actually answer questions. So this is 3.5 uh, homework que um, question 12. If f of x is 5x sine x times cosine x, find the derivative. Okay, and I think that what makes this one interesting, or at least different from a lot of the other problems that we did, is if I look at the function, you know, the the original that they're giving me, um, you know, 5x is some function of x, sine x is a function of x, cosine x is a function of x. So I have a product of three things. And our product rule tells us how to take the derivative of two things. So what I need to do is I need to break this down somehow into like two pieces that are multiplied. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by saying, okay, well, I can think of this as 5x sine x and cosine x. And those are my multiplied pieces. I don't have to break it up that way, but I'm just going to break it up as any two multiplied things. Okay. So then when I go to write f prime, I have the derivative of the first. times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. Okay. And then when I go to take the derivative of 5x times sine x, that is its own product rule. Okay, so the derivative of this thing, I'm going to use the product rule. So I have the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. Okay, which is 5 times sine x plus 5x times cosine x. Okay, so this derivative is the, you know, is this whole thing. Okay. So, putting my pieces together here. I took this derivative, and then I have times cosine x plus 5x sine x. The derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. Okay, so that's, that's how we differentiate when there's more than one multiplied piece. Does that make sense? Yep, got it, thank you. Okay, and then again, the, you know, the F prime of three, you just plug three in. Three is not like a, you know, you're, you just have to evaluate on your calculator because it doesn't come out to a, a nice uh, exact answer. Okay, another homework question? Um, 3.6, number Okay, so here's 3.6, number 9. Find the derivative of 9 sine squared of 4x to the 4th. Okay, so, you know, they, they give you a hint here that you're going to have to use the chain rule twice. But if I write this out, if I write y equals um, sine squared means take that sine function and square it. So I'm going to have the sine of 4x to the fourth that is then squared. Okay, so it's, I think, a good idea to write it with the parentheses as opposed to writing it as the sine squared. Okay, so now when I want to go use my uh, chain rule, I have to identify an inside function, and this sine of 4x to the fourth is the inside function. Okay. So when I differentiate, 
a constant multiple hangs out. My outside function is stuff squared, so its derivative is 2 times that stuff to the power of 1. Chain rule says leave the inside alone, so we have sine of 4x to the 4th. And then the chain rule says multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Okay. So 9 times 2 is 18, so I have 18 sine of 4x to the 4th times whatever happens over here. And over here, when I differentiate sine of 4x to the 4th, I would look at that and say, okay, the 4x to the 4th is inside the sine function. So I'm using the chain rule again. Okay. So the derivative of sine of stuff is cosine of stuff. Chain rule says leave the inside function alone and then multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So recopying stuff down, when I take the derivative of 4x to the 4th, the 4 comes down, so I get 16x cubed. Okay, And you could simplify a little. You could multiply the 16 and the 18 together, um, but that's basically it. All right, thank you. Okay, another homework question? Well, if that's, if that's it on homework questions, we can call it quits for now. If, uh, if it seems to you like we're going to need, you know, another, another session to answer